I don't want to go too much, uh, like click on them straight away. I just like to kind of add them. Uh, so this is Rockstar, so this is uh, for GTA 5. Uh, I did remove the game, like I said last time. It wasn't working properly. So I didn't see the point of having it. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean that um, because it doesn't work, that um, you know, all the files will be removed. Anyway, I mean, I keep it just in case if I have to download it again. That means I've got all the files in my store. I did sell my laptop. I got rid of it yesterday. So now it's tired of it. The RTX 3060 is not good for Call of Duty. It lags a lot. You know, you can't play the game at all. Uh, you can't play it high. It just lags a lot and I was tired of it. Uh, so I got rid of it. Sold it for like 300 pounds. Well, 300 dollars. So it's gone. Um, what I'm waiting for is I bought another one. Now, the other laptop I got is called a MSI Raider GE67. Um, HX. It's got an Intel i7. Uh, it's a 12th 12th uh, generation Intel. So it's 12800HX. It's got 16 cores and 24 threads. Now, to put that in perspective, what, what does that mean? It's got 24 threads. Every modern um, laptop PC uh, CPU that you can that I can think of right now. Even the modern ones, all the new Ryzen um, CPUs don't have 24 threads. They've got like 16 threads. Uh, you know, you get 8 cores, 16 threads, like still uh, 4 cores, 8 threads. But I'm just saying, basically, even these AMUs, all these uh, portable game, gaming laptops, uh, gaming handouts, all have the 8 gigs. They don't have. Um, they don't have anything that goes, you know, they don't have anything that, that goes up to 24 cores. So basically, the, the laptop itself has got 8 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. So I didn't go into much detail to find out what those were, I mean, what they do. But from what I can tell, I think it means that it's just built for gaming, right? So it's a proper uh, gaming um, laptop. Now, the other thing this laptop has, uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just adding uh, Epic Games, stuff like that, services, uh, you know, games, if I ever download stuff from them. I'm not just uh, wanting to add games here, I need to add everything. Like I said, there's a lot of lag in Call of Duty, and I don't know if it's because it's using uh, high performance or it's using high performance. Right, so the laptop is also got 24 cores, it's got 16, uh, sorry, 16 cores, 8 performance cores, 8 efficiency cores, that's 16 cores, and it's got uh, 24 cores. Like I said, it's, it's a beast of a laptop. In terms of CPU, it's a beast, right? Um, the other thing I like about the laptop is it's got an RTX 3080 Ti, right? Not the basic Ti, uh, but the 1080 Ti, and it's got 16 gigs of VRAM. Now, how I came across this thing, I was looking for a laptop to buy, right? Because I said this yesterday, uh, some days ago, and I said I was trying to look for a laptop that I wanted to buy. I couldn't get one. Everyone I was contacting me, like, oh, you know, um, they, they didn't want to sell me the laptop for the price they wanted. I'll uh, find their back, you know, it's, it's Facebook market stuff, I'm not just selling the laptop. So, at the end of the day, I was, uh, I had to go back on to, I had to go back on to, uh, what's called this. Sorry, if, if, if it's just me, like, yeah, I'm just checking, uh, to see, um, the games that I'm looking for. I'm looking for Call of Duty, I found it. Right, so I'm going to put everything in here that's to do with Call of Duty. Like I said, there's, there's way too much lag in the game. And uh, anything that's going to help it to play better is just going to be beneficial for me. Right, so the, the laptop's for the RTX 360. Uh, that's has got an OLED screen. Uh, OLED screen is set at 240 hertz. It's a QHD 
speed up um, uh, speed. So it's a force 40, 40, uh, 40, 40 p, uh, all the way up to, I think it's 4K. Like a, it's a 4K speed, basically. So it was, well, the guy did, I paid for it. So it cost me about $1,000. I, I posted the guy said, look, when you sit in the laptop, he said he would post it. And I was waiting the whole day for this thing to come. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if it's of Christmas or, you know, everything's busy. Uh, so it's, it seems like it's coming tomorrow, so I'll have it by tomorrow. The laptop is always for 30 gigs of uh, RAM. And this is like the fast memory. I think it's uh, 4,000 or 2,200 megahertz. I don't know which one it is exactly. Um, the other thing about the laptop, it's got one terabyte SSD. I've got my two terabyte that I took out of my laptop. So uh, this laptop does support two SSD slots. Got two of them inside, side by side. Uh, it also has a heat shield on the, the RAM. Uh, it's got a heat shield on the SSD. Which I like a lot. And uh, basically, uh, I'm, I'm planning to open it up straight away, putting two gigs of RAM. Sorry, two gigs of SSD. Uh, it's a small, thirty-two SSD that I've got. All my games, every game that I've got, um, that you know, every game that I've, I have right now is on that uh, SSD. So the SSD is full of games. So all I've got to do is install it into the laptop when it comes. And then naturally download Steam, and once Steam installs, uh, I will install Steam on the 2TB, I'll avoid installing it, installing it on the C drive. I want it to go directly to the SSD, you know, the, the SSD that I'm adding. Because of the games, all the games, uh, all the games that I'm talking about right now, Call of Duty, uh, uh, One of Duty 2, 3, um, I've got World War II, I've got um, Star Wars Battlefront, there's a lot of games basically. Watch Dogs uh, 2 and um, Legion, I've got all those Hard games. Point relocated. Uh, the Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, there's really good games, they're all on that, um, they're all on that 2 terabyte SSD, so I need to trust you directly up to the, the second SSD that I add. And what this will do, is that it's going to um, basically allow... Because once you install Steam, what Steam does, wherever you install Steam, it looks for games that you've got installed on your laptop or uh, on Steam Deck. So anyone who's, who's had a, um, you know, had a, a system like that, okay, so I've, I've checked my... I mean, the, the games that I want to run in here, uh, the Call of Duty, the other games will work natively because I'm not so proud of it because um, I just want to look at the details to see if there's anything in here that is not. Um, the only reason why, why I'm doing this, I, I normally would have done Target this a long time ago, is because I've been, <coughs> I've been removing games, you see, so as I've removed games, I basically haven't uh, reinstall the game as well. Uh, the other thing about the laptop is that you can Like I said, if you look for games within your laptop, and obviously you can see the games that I've got. And I've got a lot of games. I mean, all these games I'm talking about, I paid for them. So, obviously, I want to make sure that these games will definitely um, go on to, you know, I mean, will be recognized by Steam. And then obviously, I should be able to just, um, uh, what you call this, just like transfer all the files. Some of these games are on my Steam Deck. Like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is on the Steam Deck. So the advantage of that is tomorrow, when that's not the comes, all I've got to do is uh, install Steam onto the second SSD. And what should happen is Steam will find that game. And as it finds the game, and it's, it starts to extract the files, it should start transferring files from Steam. Because what you need to do is, you need to open up Steam on your Steam Deck, and make sure that whatever you do on your Steam Deck, that don't play any games, just allow a uh, laptop that you're reinstalling Steam on, and reinstalling your games on to find 
there's a second device that you use. That comes out. And what's going to happen is, it's going to find any mistake that your laptop or your um, uh, Lenovo or whatever device you use, it's going to find it and it will start to transfer files. Now, why do you want it to transfer files? Because all it's doing is it's just. It's a quicker way of downloading the game. It's going to be much faster to download the game through transfer than if you just used uh, if you just used uh, the normal the normal way of downloading. It's going to take days because after a lot of things. But as a transfer, it's just going to be super quick. It's just going to locate your games. Okay, this is your games. Uh, you can also select the games that you want to send over, and then all is all that's going to happen is going to be.